Like one dude honestly might be the worst impersonator I've ever seen. This nigga just wants to be next so bad. Like, the only reason niggas really impersonate is to get money from this shit. If you're gonna be an impersonator, at least know the nigga's song. Like, he's on live just. Oh, the November, the bro, you're not even singing it right. Nigga copied the hair. Nigga even trying to sound like him, bro. Listen to this. Bro. Oh, listen to his accent. Most impersonators, they just grow up like looking like them, just end up doing it, but they live their own lives, they don't try to act like they're that person. This nigga don't even look like him. I think this nigga drew on his fucking eyeball, just like X, but he actually got a tattoo. And this nigga obviously died his hair. He's trying to sound like a bro, like this is just weird. Like, what are you doing? This is just disrespectful. You can hear the force in his voice trying to sound like X. And it's still terrible when he's trying to sound like him. This is just disrespectful, bro. But who do y'all think is the worst impersonator? Like, who do y'all just not like the most? Probably him, honestly. That's my answer. Honestly, man, that's more funny than anything. The fact that this guy is trying to be like triple X, but in a parody sort of way, it doesn't sound like he's actually trying to impersonate him and like take the job serious he, he looks like he's just trying to get laughs out of people Yeah, that's that's interesting, man. Um, I always wondered how to drive a standard car, like before even getting my license for automatic cars. I always thought, hey, it'd be a cool idea to learn how to drive a standard car. But after watching that video, I don't know if I want to do that, man. I feel like I would stall the car every single time, trying to remember to like pull the clutch and then let go of the the gas, like so confusing it's crazy how there's some people that can drive standard cars um better than like automatic cars like there's some people out there that just they're so used to the clutch <laughs> oh man <laughs> the camera hurts face this, this guy's just hiding his laugh. What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. They call me Muhammad. I could have guessed that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm brown, that's it. Yeah, I could have guessed that. You fuck with black people? I love them. <laughs> you do? I love them. Sometimes they don't like me because we're Arabs. We say most of the time the N words. Good man. Good man. <laughs> My nine little Curtis keep a switch. Yeah, I don't trust no with no switch now. Hold on, hold on. You like L E chopping. For real, I get this shit a lot. Oh god, oh god. Now I'm Curtis with a switch though. You sure you ain't no? Hell yeah, no, nah, fool. What the fuck? I look like that ugly ass nigga. Nice ass nigga. Man, nice as hell. Smack shit out in L E chopping. I spit on it like this. That whole ass can. No nigga got a switch. Yeah, appreciate that, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put a rap for you. Yeah. <clears throat> then when I saw that, I told her to come over, but I should hold it. Stupid ass. Come on, man. She's too goddamn fast. I'm in here for five hours. Holy shit, man. I'll be here another five hours, nigga. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. He was mad as a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I'm here for five hours. <laughs> Welcome to Influencer City, by the way, man. Thank you uh, very much for coming to show love to the city, you know? Let's get the diamond tester going, man. Fuck all the bullshit. Come on, appreciate it. Get the diamond tester, bring it. <laughs> Fuck Influencer City, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
man. Um, yo, like, Drewski is probably the funniest, like, new... I don't even know what to call him. I don't know if you should, call, like, we can call him a comedian, but, like, I guess comedian. This guy's jokes, man. And that whole um, could have been records, um, talent show tryout thing that he runs, I think it's a good idea, man. Like, it's just a, it's a fresh, like, segment idea for, like, a YouTuber slash comedian to come up with. Tonight, SpaceX is attempting one of the most dangerous space missions of all time. Here's the deal. This is the Polaris Dawn crew. They launched into space yesterday, Tuesday, September 10th. They now hold the record for the highest orbit around Earth since 1972. This right here is real footage. And they're about to do the first ever civilian spacewalk, which is insane. This means that the entire crew is about to be exposed to the vacuum of space while two of them actually go outside of the spacecraft to test these suits out. These new space suits have never been tested in space before. And if you want to leave this planet one day, you're going to need one of these. Apparently you can watch this live tonight online, but if you want to go to bed, feel free and I'll post updates tomorrow. Let's go. That is crazy. Probably one of the craziest things I heard about in a long time, man. Like, yo, that like, that's legendary, man. Pe the first people to like, Wa not walk in space but like spacewalk i guess they call it whatever but if all that is real man that's actually pretty cool man and it's like uh, a stepping stone towards um going to other planets and you know what i mean creating like cities and new like you know what i'm saying um areas to like start life for for some people um, like Mars, even colonizing the moon, like, and then we would have to wear those suits. The only thing sketchy about that, this is the first time they're tested it out in space. Like, what if the suits don't work? <laughs> oh man bro what yo honestly man like that that guy had to be on like he's got to be on drugs or drunk or there's something up with that guy i don't know like no matter what the situation is man out of any person in the world you don't want to fight an mma fighter like you don't want to get in a fight no matter what you know you're like in the streets um i mean stuff can happen at any time and things are super random but like generally you don't want to get into a fight at all you want to like use your words to end whatever situations going on but like bro you for sure do not want to fight an mma fighter man no matter what rank they are yo this like that's uh, that's Adesanya, man. Israel Adesanya, superstar UFC fighter. I don't know if that guy was like on drugs or something, and maybe he didn't recognize that that was Adesanya. But like, yo, even if you're not a superstar fighter, man, this is what they they like. These guys are basically bare knuckle fighting for a living, for money. Like that's their job. You know what I'm saying? So like, for somebody who is an MMA fighter to be talking to Adesanya like that. Like, he maybe he didn't recognize who he was, but like, yo, you don't want to fight an MMA fighter, bro. Like, yo, that's not going to end well for that guy, bro. When I say that death isn't real, I mean a couple of things. First, I mean that it is quite literally not real. It is an illusion. It doesn't happen. It doesn't exist. It's a farce. And people will say, impossible. I've seen death happen in front of my eyes. Not true. What you witness with your eyes likely these and not this, was something that only happened in this three-dimensional reality. Nothing in this three-dimensional reality is real. It's all constructed, crafted, created. It's a matrix, meaning it's a math equation, inputs and outputs, like all video games. Obviously, we are not a game. I mean, we are, but we're not a video game. We're nature's game. And what I mean by that is, a lot of people imagine God to be this man in the sky. And that is so far from the truth and so limiting. 
even to call the true source of all that is, God is limiting. The true source of all that is, is all that is, which is substantiated by the religious text, which tells you that God sits high and looks low. God created good and evil. The true source of all that is, isn't really good and evil. It's positive and negative. And even more than that, it's neutral. Nature is neutral. While it is neutral, it is also reactive, like your body. When the natural body gets food poisoning, it does everything in its power to reject the sickness. You start vomiting, you get diarrhea, you're sweating bullets. And you, without the knowledge that you two are nature, that the true source of all that is, is you, you think that nature hates you. You start thinking, oh, my body hates me. No, it doesn't. Just like when there's tsunamis and earthquakes and volcanoes, we start thinking, oh, the earth must hate us. No, it doesn't. They are neutral. It sways them one way or the other, positive towards negative, is the vessel within it, what it houses. You, the true source of all that is. So on an individual level, that means that what you do to your body is what your body reacts to. She's basically saying the world is almost like a living like person uh itself right and whenever like as humans whenever we get like a disease or like we get sick our body does everything it, it can to try to like push out the toxins and the the disease and you know what i mean our body knows how to fight off whatever bacteria or sickness is like making us feel like bad right and the world's almost the same thing too when we're like throwing garbage on the ground like pollution and like all these factories blowing up smoke into the air and like people who smoke cigarettes and just all of that will cause the planet to start earthquaking and we got we get all these hurricanes and all this crazy weather like in that lens i can definitely see where she's coming from um it's a crazy way to think about it too Especially saying that, that everything we see around us is like completely fake and we're just living in a giant matrix, a giant computer. Alright guys, so the new mixtape, Hashtag Indica, this one's a 15 track mixtape officially set for October 4th. Once this one's dropped, man, I'm telling you, you guys gotta listen to this one. The best project I ever put together. It's gonna be the last mixtape that I'll be dropping for this year. I got more music coming afterwards, most likely for December, but I'll keep you guys posted about that. I got one more song for September 24th. I plan to do like a bunch of different things with the songs on the mixtape for like later on after October 4th but September 24th learn how to swim that's the next single last single I'll be dropping until I guess December yeah so I'll keep you guys posted about any other future releases in terms of like performances or my uh, YouTube channel and content or anything like that I'll keep you guys posted just make sure you subscribe to the channel add me on any other social medias hashtag Indica let's go